Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I'm vlogging today on a Sunday, which is a little rare for me, but I, I am treating today like a work day because one, tomorrow or today when you're watching this is the eclipse. And I'm actually pretty close to the like sight line or whatever. So I would like to be able to take the day off and do eclipse stuff if I would like to, I suppose. I'm gonna try to find eclipse glasses today. So that's one thing that's on my to-do list. Um, but also I'm gonna be traveling soon. So I've got a bunch of little loose ends that I need to tie up and so I'm just, I'm just getting them done. I wanted to update you on a few things as well. First of all, I wanted to say thank you. I feel like I've been like mad over sharing on the internet lately and you all have been really nice. I've gotten, it's actually been a little overwhelming, but in a good way of how many comments and voice notes I've gotten about my podcast from last week and also from my video about my kind of health issue that I've been dealing with. I'm really glad I made that video, the, the health one in particular, because so many people have mentioned to me that they're experiencing something similar or that a light bulb went off for them. So I don't know, just a reminder that sometimes the things that you are scared to post are important to post. Oh, my life, first of all, first of all, speaking of the eclipse, anybody else really going through it right now? I posted on threads because I was like, there is no way Mercury is not in Gatorade retrograde right now. So one of the things that's been kind of chaotic for me, um, I put in an offer on a house the other day. It was just one of those moments that I just kind of felt like was meant to be. It was in my dream town, the town that I've always wanted to live in, but it's just one of those towns where like, they just don't have new homes. And I love a good old character home, but I also don't from a logistical point of view. So it was a brand new house, perfect, like modern, beautiful style. Honestly, I just loved it so much. I was like, I'm just gonna look, but I knew in my heart of hearts that I was going to wanna put an offer in and ended up loving it more than I even expected. My realtor broker, whatever, was like, you know, how bad do you want this? How intense do you wanna go? And I was like, we're going all the way. To put in an intense offer, but cash is still king and this market is intense. And I wasn't willing to put in a cash offer for a new home that I didn't actually need and somebody else did. So I hope they love it and I hope it's everything that they need. And I was taking it as a sign. You know, I've tried to, I've been trying to like live my life a little more like whatever happens, happens and not be upset by things, not be rattled by things. And I asked, you know, the universe for a little bit of clarity on like, if this isn't meant to be, just send me a sign, you know, send me a sign and I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen I'm gonna pay attention to what I really need to be listening to. And so that's what happened. But it did get me thinking. Well, one, I think I really, after writing out such an intense pros and cons list about moving, I think I really came to terms with the fact that I don't think I'm happy here. I think I need a change. I just, I feel like I need to be in a place that fits my lifestyle a little bit more. And to be honest, there's like roadkill outside of my house at all times of the day. I grew up in a city, it was a smaller city, but it was, I grew up right downtown. Then I spent like seven, eight years living in downtown Detroit. And well, I don't want that anymore. I also don't want to be in the country anymore, I think. Another thing is the house that I toured and that I fell in love with, it was just, it was like a work of art, you know, it was so beautiful. And it's funny because when I bought this house two years ago, I had so many plans, so many goals, and there were just so many things that I wanted to do and I just lost sight of because, you know, life happens and I got busy. And so I'm recommitting to that because whether I stay here or not, um, it's gonna be good to have things be updated. And so one of those things, it's funny because I had already actually ordered a new vanity for my powder room downstairs when I went to go tour this house. And I'll show you that um, in a minute. But first, let's film. <laughs> All right, video shot, but that was, it was hard. I'm gonna be honest, it did not come easily today. Some days I just feel like the words just fall right out of my mouth. And today I struggled. I had to start over like three different times and I don't know if I made sense. I feel like I was talking monotone. I don't know why. Anyway, so I'm gonna check the footage really quickly. And I think I'm also going to film a quick 
Instagram story or a reel or something. Whenever I get ready enough to film a video, I try to really make the most out of it because I'm gonna come home and take my makeup off probably. I do have an email course that I am hosting. You guys are all invited. It's actually totally free. It starts on Monday the 16th. And so I wanna do some content around that just to get some more people in there. We've already had a lot of people sign up, so it's not like a huge pressure, I guess, to, to film anything, but it's gonna be really fun. I'm teaching a three week email course and we just kind of go through week by week a different topic. We are gonna cover landing pages and actually building your list. We're gonna cover newsletters. We're gonna cover workflows. It's gonna be all taught in Flowdesk. So I would love for you to join. I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just trying to do like more free stuff for a few reasons. One, because it's really fun for me to be able to open things up to everybody. I think it's also good for business in that you know, this email course, it's structured very similar to the Social Media Management Accelerator, which is the main course that I sell. Um, obviously it's much shorter and not as in depth, but for anyone who's been curious about like, what is a cohort based course? It gives a little taste of that. And then also it is an affiliate opportunity. So I'm just kind of testing it out by teaching people how to use this tool. Hopefully it will encourage people to sign up with my link and hopefully end up, you know, earning a little bit of affiliate income as well, which is obviously all transparently shared throughout the course. But yeah, just something new that I'm testing out. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. And also I'd love to see you there. So again, link down below, but I'm gonna check out this footage, see how this is looking. Let's go to the art store, best place on earth. see it but that gas station that gas station is where I got my first course sale ever it was 2016 and I was sitting in the car and I checked my email I had pre-sold my first ever course and I got an email saying somebody bought it and it was somebody I didn't even know I had no idea who they were and so I'm always gonna have a little soft spot for that gas station in Dearborn Michigan I went to Unburger Grill. It's like this vegan restaurant in Dearborn. I just feel so full. I have not eaten like any processed foods in weeks, seriously. Um, some people were asking for an update. I've pretty much just been sticking to a Whole Foods, um, eating, just eating like fruits and vegetables pretty much. I'm still doing a bunch of testing. So I haven't gotten like doctor's orders or anything, but that just is what feels the best and my symptoms have been non-existent. Anyway, we're in my new powder room and I'll show you the before. It was not without its challenges. Ordered this vanity, it was supposed to come with the sink, it didn't come with the sink. <laughs> so that was the whole thing. So we had to buy a sink from Ikea, the sink from Ikea didn't fit, we had to return the sink, had to order. We ended up getting the sink from Wayfair and I think it really was like a blessing in disguise because I just find it so much more modern, sleek looking. I wanted there to be enough room for people to, you know, get stuff they needed or store stuff if they're staying the night or whatever. And then as opposed to a full medicine cabinet, I got this thing from Ikea, which is like a shelf, kind of like an exposed medicine cabinet vibe. I think it's pretty cute. So it's really just for decorative things, but we also have some essentials there as well. And um, yeah, changed out the light. It needs a little bit of love underneath there. That's one of the things we have to figure out. But I think it's pretty fun. Um, also wanna change out the fan eventually. And then I love this garbage can. It's so cool. I have one upstairs in my bathroom too, but it's like a, you just wave your hand over it. This little stool situation, I just saw it at Target and I was like, it matches the vanity perfectly. And my mom actually requested, she was like, can you put a chair in your bathroom because again, if she stays the night and wants to like change into her PJs or something like that, there's kind of nowhere to like, you know, rest your stuff. So I thought that would be cute. And then I just put a little book and a candle on there. I don't know about the toilet paper holder. I'm like, should I just put the toilet paper underneath the vanity? But my thing is when I go somewhere and if it's like the roll is empty, I need to know where it is, you know? Like, I don't know. So I, I gotta decide, but I, I don't think it looks too bad. So what I'm gonna do now is this big wall, when you walk in, I'll show you like the, the vantage point, I suppose. I don't know if that's the right term. I'm gonna make a huge painting for this wall. I'm not a painter. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my best, okay? 
um, and just make something kind of abstract with some black in it to tie everything together since this is just this kind of boring wall color, which by the way is not really my choice, but even more annoying, the home builder painted my entire house matte, like flat beige, which if you know anything about paint is not ideal for a bathroom, you know, or any high trafficked areas because you can't wash it. So the first thing that we did for this bathroom was just got the same exact color just in a satin, I guess. So you can actually wash the walls now, which is nice. So oh, I might also change these out. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you think that I should make these black? Or I don't know if it'll be black overkill either. And I also want to change out the door handle. This one actually like came like this. Hold on. <laughs> just came so janky. So I need to change it regardless, but I think I'm going to do matte black. Um, I just need to get the right one with the lock and stuff. So let's make a painting. Let's do it. Okay, please try to forgive me and ignore the mess behind me. Went to the art store. This stuff is my new obsession. This light molding paste. You mix it in with the pigment or you can just do it instead of, hold on, let me show you. Oh my gosh. My freaking, every muscle on my body, by the way, is killing me. I played soccer yesterday. I ran a couple miles. I went way too hard and I'm in pain now. So it makes this texture. I was just playing around with just experimenting with the texture, but yeah, I just want to do something just basic and abstract, but on a much bigger scale for that wall. I also got this big spreader. I have like a, what I did that little one on was just a small guy, but uh, this is a 30 by 30 canvas. It's pretty huge. It still looks small. So let's, let's see what we can come up with together. While that is drying a little bit, that first layer, I'm gonna start editing because no time wasted around here. I just got hit with like a wave of, I'm so tired, like I cannot keep my eyes open, but I need to finish this painting and I need to get some more work done. I was just sitting here thinking about the podcast. I started editing this week's, which is gonna be like kind of a little bit of a book review of this, but not really. I just kind of quoted it a bit and talked about solopreneurship. So stay tuned. I think it was a good one, but I just also am feeling like I need to shake things up on the show. One, I've been wanting to do the social media updates episode, I guess, the monthly episode. I wanna do it live. I wanna try it. Let me know if you would watch. If, if there is, I guess what, what keeps me from doing it live is that I normally upload my podcast Fridays between seven and 9 a.m. And I don't want to do a live stream at 9 a.m. It's just not how I operate. So I'm like, should I do it Thursday, day before, edit it, and then get it like the non-live version up for the podcast? That could be cool, right? Maybe like first Thursday of the month. Did I just figure something out in my brain? Are we doing first Thursday of the month? Is the live stream, what's new in social? Friday mornings, you get the cut down, plus shorts for TikTok, Instagram. Actually, I have a very hot take. I'm over TikTok. I'm not doing it anymore. Maybe we'll talk about that at a different time. I took the weirdest screenshot. I'll put it on the screen. It's like, clearly TikTok is hacking my phone. It's so sketchy. Um, I just don't like it anymore, okay? I'm sorry if that offends you, but I just don't trust it. So that's my hot take of the day. But yeah, I think I wanna do that. The live stream version, I just think it'll be more fun. I watch a lot of like political shows randomly. That's where I get a lot of inspiration for the podcast. And that's what they do. I feel like it's just smart and efficient. I also wanna do some guest interviews. Like, I don't know, historically guest interviews have not been like the most popular episode type, but frankly, they're way easier. It's really hard to carry a solo show. And I'm patting myself on the back a little bit that I've done a solo show for five years. Five years? Five years. I mean, at this point, it's like, I don't even know what else to say. I need some additional perspectives and I think it just makes it a little more dynamic and fun. So if you guys have any guest suggestions or like types of people you'd like to hear from, please let me know that too. That'd be really helpful. So I'm gonna continue thinking, doing a little meditative thinking as I do my painting. Having long hair is so annoying when you're like painting or baking 
making candles, all of which I've been doing a lot of lately. <laughs> so we'll put that hair up and continue our work of art. <laughs> Lana Del Rey. Hmm. I don't know that so stop this music. Stop it right now. So stop. That was honestly not my finest work. It's actually quite terrible. But you know what the cool thing about art is, is as long as you had fun making it, you always have fun memory. And like, it's better than anything that I found on a cheap, you know, at a cheap place. So until I get actual real art, it's, it's fine. I think I'm going to clean it up a little bit once it dries too and add some pattern and some, make some more sense of it, but whatever. It was fun. I'm getting a little walk-in because I have about 10 pages left of my manuscript to go through for my own copy edit. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cold out here. And so I would like to finish that before I go on my secret trip because I want to finish all the writing on my trip. All the, all of the like sections that I need to rewrite or add to, things like that. And then we're gonna go into the actual design and other people editing, things like that. So I'm gonna just do a little walk and read this, do my copy edit on the treadmill for some reason. The only way I can get book work done is on the treadmill. Something about multitasking, I don't know. And I'll probably get a little, little run into no, I'll probably regret that because my legs are still so sore from soccer yesterday. I also found some of Lincoln Berry Jam under the seat while digging for something. But I uh, had to run out and get some eclipse glasses because even though I had 45 years to prepare, it wasn't enough time. So thank you to Facebook. Seriously, a lot of people don't understand why Facebook is still relevant. It's because of stuff like this. Because I went onto my local community group and said, we're going to find eclipse glasses. Now I can watch the eclipse tomorrow in peace. Look at the beautiful sun though. All right, fresh out of the shower and I'm going to wrap up the vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so glad I found my eclipse glasses. I hope you found some too, if you are planning to, planning to do that today. And if not, thank you for spending your time with me. Either way, I hope this was enjoyable. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, or if you're new here as well, like one of my favorite things about posting vlogs is just hearing from you. So if you want to let me know what you're up to, what's inspiring you, if there's anything that you need to get off your chest, the comments are as safe as a space as I can make them. So I'd love to chat with you there. And um, yeah, just thanks for letting me into your day. I really appreciate you as always. I'll be back with a new vlog and hopefully a final painting update, you know, maybe in a couple weeks or so. I appreciate you. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you then. Bye.